I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting to you on the livestock market. Today, the cat, live cattle was higher again for the 11th straight day. The futures were really firm uh, heading into the uh, USDA cattle on feed report. Uh, the their expectations was it was going to be uh, unchanged. We do have the report uh, finals right now, which are very interesting that it was actually very positive, certainly for the front months. The marketing numbers, the placement numbers were all very firm, and that definitely is going to offer some support for the April and the June contract. So we're going to expect that on Monday that they're going to get a little bit of a bump. It's not as good now for the uh, deferred months, so it looks like that those might be sagging somewhat. There's going to be a roll also coming coming in as we approach uh, as we approach uh, in May and we're going to you know uh, get the June contracts is, is going to start to roll but because the open interest is huge we expect that there's going to be uh, the roll is going to take a little bit longer than expected interestingly enough today the feeder cattle closed a little bit lower so that was a little bit of a tell to let us know that there was going to be some of those deferred contracts uh, weren't going to be able to be supported uh, any further so uh, one thing to be watching now in Iowa and Nebraska they're still paying up for their cattle and until that stops uh, that will then start to signal what we think would be the top of the market so uh, you know the market is going to continue to march on and uh, it looks like it's going to make for a very interesting week starting on Monday the hogs on the other hand again uh, continue to trend lower uh, pork prices have been lower it's just sinking the cash market has just been weighing heavy on the uh, on the lean hog prices uh, you know this these rates we haven't even seen since last September. So the prices are really low uh, and looks like that it could continue to go lower as the beef par prices start to rally. Uh, right now, you know, we always figure that the uh, um, lower prices is the best cure for lower prices, but until the bargain hunters step in and support this market, uh, it still is not looking uh, good at this point right now. But maybe we're going to get a new uh, a new uh, injection of money coming back into these lean hog markets that will kind of support it. We're definitely going to get some support uh, for the live cattle. That's all from the floor at the CME Group. I'm Virginia McGathy.